here is a lesion of a man's lip. Notice it is ulcerated. Notice it is inflamed. Notice it causes kind of a thickening. And uh, this is in the vermilion border of the lip. Vermilion re means red. So this is the pink part of the lip. So you might suspect, unless there was obvious trauma there, that if it came on all by itself, this being a sun-exposed area, you might suspect maybe it's a skin cancer. Let's take a look at another lesion of this type, but in a different person, in a different location. Here's another kind of a nodular area, which has irregular ulcerations and hemorrhage along the surface. And um, all I'll tell you at this point is that it's exactly the same lesion as what we saw in the guy's lip. So let's take a nice microscopic view right now as well. And notice here is the surrounding epidermis. And here deep within the epidermis, deep within the dermis, is the lesion in question. Here's a relatively normal part of the overlying epidermis. But if you look at the bulk of this tumor in just about any area, well, let's look at some obvious areas. Notice it looks like skin because you have some a maturation from the base to the surface. Notice there's a tremendous amount of keratin and kind of an irregular cyst-like space. Notice there are more of these cyst-like spaces. Notice that towards the periphery, you could perhaps see things that may look like squamous cells. These are obviously squamous cells, but so are these. But take a look at some of these little nests of squamous cells towards the periphery. Notice how they are significantly pleomorphic, significantly occasionally hyperchromatic. And in addition, I think I'm going to find some really nasty cells for you. If this was the only field that you saw, you would probably diagnose malignancy right there because when you see cells like this with big, dark, lumpy, irregular nuclei, and perhaps even there, and uh, perhaps all along here. These are malignant squamous cells. Uh, I want to point out one uh, feature or one adjective that is frequently used for you because some of these nests of squamous cells look like they are semi-glandular. Sometimes they call this a pseudo-glandular appearance like here and here. But don't be fooled. These are all squamous cells. They have all the classical squamous cell markers. It's just for some reason they look like they are glands there. And if you have a uh, doubt recognizing that uh, these are squamous cells, just take a look at the main part of the tumor in which you have clear-cut squamous cells. Whenever you see these little world uh, nests of squamous material within malignancies, these are called pearls. That means the tumor is fairly well differentiated. Notice there is an abundant amount of scattered lymphocytes and probably neutrophils in reaction to this tumor as well. And notice we have all the classical features of malignancy. We have infiltration, we have hyperchromasia, we have pleomorphism, we have secondary inflammation. And now I'm going to show you something which, if this was the only cell you saw in this biopsy, you could diagnose this as malignant because it looks like it's a mitotic cell that wants to divide it in about five different directions. So a multipolar mitosis is also seen here. This may be a tripolar one over here. So this is a fairly well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma. And I say well because we see the squamous pearls primary to the skin. They're all like the basal cell carcinomas, they're related to sun exposure. Like the basal cell carcinomas, they rarely metastasize or kill. But like the basal cell carcinomas, they could do a lot of local infiltrating damage to surrounding structures. And I think, I wish I could have remembered, did we see some infiltration of surrounding nerve as well? Or was this smooth muscle of something? Uh, 
I don't know, what is this? I just may have to put... No, it looks like it's just smooth muscle, perhaps of a, uh, a pilosebaceous uh, muscle, a pilar muscle. Uh, but uh, you can see that it's infiltrating around here as well. Thank you very much.